Hi, this is Millie Kay, and it's Wednesday, May 24th, 2017. This video is about a concern I have with a wet area near both the main spillway gate structure and the auxiliary spillway weir at the Oroville Dam. And the Department of Water Resources has made a video about this area entitled Non-Sinkhole Video because apparently it had come to their attention that some people are thinking it's a sinkhole. And I'll show you. This is a screen capture I did from some footage that DWR published today. Uh, right here, you can see this area. They actually took this footage uh, yesterday, but it was published on YouTube today. And this is the area that I'm talking about. And even though they had done that non-sinkhole video, it still didn't provide me with the reassurance that I, that I need in order to lay my concerns to rest. So uh, I do still have questions. And I'm going to state my questions at the end of this video. So first I'll just take a little time to let you know the scope of this video. I'm going to show screen captures from DWR's drone footage from May 16th as well as footage from their non-sinkhole video of May 20th. And I'll be showing screen captures with no edits, enhancements, or changes. Uh, in, in my narrating I will I'll refrain from editorializing or drawing conclusions because the purpose of this video is to bring my questions to the public forum for consideration. This is the first shot of uh, the video of May 16th, the drone footage that DWR had published. And I only took three screen captures out of that uh, video footage. This one, and as you can see, this is the the parking lot, um, and then have one a little bit closer, and then this one. And just so that you can get oriented to where we're at, this is the dam, and then this is the gate gatehouse structure. And this is that channel, that inlet that goes into the the gate structure. And right here is the auxiliary spillway weir, so that when water gets to 901 feet, it goes over that lip. And you can see where the when the water went over that auxiliary weir in February. You can see the repair area here where they've done where they've put fill and shotcrete and then the area that I already pointed out in the first shot is right here. So that gives you the the overview of the whole area and then the non-sinkhole video was uh, published on May 20th and they took drone footage from four angles and this is angle one and as you can see again here's the dam here's the gatehouse structure and this is the area that we're talking about in here It's a very close up view of that one particular area where there's like no gravel really. It just looks muddy. And then over here there's a something that some people think is like a pump or a valve. Um, I don't know what it is. 
And there's another view of that. In the foreground you can see the really heavily graveled area and then in the background is that muddy area. Another shot. And then a really uh, distant uh, view of that at that particular angle. And then angle two can see that that thing right there close to the water and then on to angle 3 And angle four. This one gives a really good shot of vegetation over here, and then like the gravelly stuff here, and looks like debris up here, and then the the wet area. And in this one you can see the this part of the auxiliary weir. And then this one too. Close up of that same area. And now you can see where the weir is getting back almost to the gatehouse structure over here in this view. I think there's one more. Nope. Finish with that one and then go to my questions. So here are my seven questions for the Department of Water Resources about the wet area. Question number one, could this area be the entrance point for water seeping below the auxiliary spillway weir, which could possibly connect to another vein of permeable soil, thereby creating a flow channel that could in some way undercut the auxiliary spillway foundation under the repair shotcrete? or possibly seep under the concrete slabs of the upper main spillway chute and or the gatehouse structure? Two, what changes between DWR's May 16th and May 20th videos, um, or what changed between those two videos to cause the terrain in that area to look so different and for a cavern-like, obviously sunken section to literally disappear? Three, when intense coring and geological studies were carried out in that area at the time of the early incident response phase, what was actually done and what was the conclusion? Four, what is that thing in the May 20th video that looks like a pump or valve? What is its purpose and what is it doing there? Five. Does this area have any bearing on water management levels? For instance, would the water rising above that level exert pressure and cause seepage below and onto the other side of the auxiliary spillway or any other place? For example, the gatehouse structure and or the upper chute concrete slabs. Six, could this area be the entrance point to or have something to do with the areas of concern that caused Sheriff Honey to make his decision to evacuate? 
and seven. If it is not a sinkhole now, could it become one? So those are my questions. And I would like to thank you for viewing my video. And I hope you will like, subscribe, and share. And if you subscribe and click on the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, I welcome commentary and debate on this subject. See you later.